everyone. Today we're at Bremerton's Ivy Green Cemetery for the Puget Sound Navy Museum Anchored in History video tour. We'll be visiting several grave sites and memorials for Navy sailors today. We'll start today near the northern edge of the cemetery along Naval Avenue. Just inside lies the main section of military burials, including veterans from all branches of the armed forces. Ivy Green Cemetery is the final resting place for a number of U.S. Navy sailors, including some who served in both world wars. Many are buried in this section. Veterans' headstones can also be found throughout the cemetery. As we continue south, we come across two group plots. The first is dedicated to the U.S. war veterans of the Spanish-American War. It commemorates veterans of the Cuban, Puerto Rico, and Philippine Island campaigns. Following it is the group plot dedicated to the veterans of the Grand Army of the Republic. Though no Civil War battles were fought here in Kitsap County, many veterans of that war settled here later in life. Next, we follow the pathway on the left until we reach the gravesite of Wesley Harris. A member of the Marine Corps, he was killed in action during World War I, losing his life in France in September of 1918. Camp Wesley Harris, a military firing range off Seabeck Highway, is named for him. These photos of service members, now in our artifact collection, were taken there. Now we'll head towards the eastern side of the cemetery. The large flagpoles mark the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Bremerton has one of only a few such memorials in America. Designed at half the size of the one in Arlington National Cemetery, it stands tribute to all of the fallen soldiers and sailors from throughout America's history. In front of the tomb is a memorial honoring a specific group of fallen sailors. It honors the 64 sailors and Marines who were declared missing in action after the bombing of USS Saratoga off Iwo Jima on February 21, 1945. The badly damaged ship made her way to Bremerton for repairs. Here, the sailors and marines who had perished, but whose remains could not be identified, were buried in this collective grave site. Continuing down the hill, we come to the grave site of Medal of Honor recipient John Nibb. He served during the Civil War when he was just a teenager. In April 1864, his ship USS Petrel was hit by enemy fire in a Mississippi River, causing the boilers to explode. Quartermaster Nibs stayed aboard, tending to the wounded as others escaped. He was forced to surrender to Confederate forces. Surviving the war, he was awarded the Medal of Honor and set sail for the West Coast. Nib ended up in Bremerton, where he opened a general store and served as postmaster before his death in 1902. Today, a barracks building on Naval Base Kitsap is named for him. Next, we continue to the final stop on today's visit a memorial for one of Bremerton's most famous sailors. John Henry Dick Turpin survived the explosion of USS Maine that sparked the Spanish-American War. He was one of the first African-American chief petty officers in the U.S. Navy. He served in the active duty Navy through World War I, then worked at the Puget Sound Navy Yard, where he qualified as a master rigger and a master diver. He attempted to rejoin the active duty Navy in World War II when he was in his 60s, but instead he contributed to the war effort by making inspirational visits to military bases. When he died in 1962, he was buried at sea. This memorial was later placed next to his wife's gravesite. I hope you'll have a chance to visit and pay your respects to all of our brave service members interred and memorialized here. That concludes the 2020 season of our Anchored in History video series. I hope you'll join me to explore more Navy history throughout the Puget Sound region next spring.